hello guys hope you are doing good and in this video i am going to show you how we can install PySpark and jupyter notebook in our system and how we can get started with data engineering journey so for those who does not know what spark is so let me just brief you so spark is a compute engine that data engineers uses to process terabyte and petabytes of data or i would say a big data and it's a kind of a replacement of MapReduce. So before Spark, MapReduce was the only engine that is used to process big data and it was using Mapper and Reducer and it was taking a quite lot of time to process the big data. But later on this Spark came into picture and it does all its processing in memory. That is why it is quite faster than MapReduce. And programs in Spark can be written in four languages that is Java, Python, R and Scala. Though Spark itself is written in Scala, so most of the project they go with the Scala language. But yeah, we can uh, write the application in Python as well. So that, that is what I will be showing you in this video. So let's jump into our terminal and install these two application. And let me zoom a bit so that you can guys see it properly. So in order to install PySpark and Zupyter, I will be making use of pip env. So pip env is a tool that we can use to create a virtual environment in Python. So if I can take you to the portal. So here you can see like it automatically creates and manages a virtual environment for Python. So we can install this pip env and then we can create a virtual environment where we will be installing those two uh, software. So uh, why we are going with PPNV is like uh, it creates a virtual environment and you can install uh, all the packages there so it will not affect your global Python. So that is why we are going with the uh, PPNV. So here are the commands that we can use. So if you are a Windows a user so you can make use of this uh, pip command. Uh, since I am using Mac so I can go with uh, this command. So let me run this. And in my system, I have already installed this PPNV. So let me create one folder in my desktop where I will be initiating the uh, virtual environment. Let me give it a name, a spark demo and let me move to that folder. And in order to create a virtual environment, we can make use of a command pip shell. So it will initiate a, a virtual environment in this particular folder. So yeah so uh, now this uh, virtual environment is activated so let me install uh, those two uh, applications so pip env install pyspark so it is installing pyspark and it will take a bit of time so you can see that it has been installed and let me install jupyter notebook as well so as you can see that both the PySpark and Jupyter has been installed in my system. So let me launch Jupyter Notebook. Now we are inside the Jupyter Notebook and uh, let me create one Python Notebook and let me write some Python or I would say the Spark uh, code here. So these are the few of the warnings. So let me make use of text file function to read some text file. So let me first check if I have any file in my system. So let me open uh, another tab here. So I have some files uh, here. Let me just copy this path. And let me just pick uh, any of the file. Let's take this file.
Oh, sorry. And now let's see this RDD. So yeah, we can see the information from the file. So yeah, that is uh, what uh, I wanted to show you. So uh, this is the way you can install PySpark in Jupyter and you can uh, run the like the Spark application in your local. So stay tuned for more videos. So I will be showing some uh, more concept in Spark and uh, for the big data. So stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe to my channel and share this video to all your friends. Yeah, thank you.